Today is a very special day, my friends, and uh, without further ado, you will see immediately why. It is a very special day today because we have a comparison of three great excavators. The Leaper 970, the Volvo EC 480 and the Leaper 926. So, without further ado, let's start with the review and the comparison. So before we start to put in the battery in each machine, let's just do a quick run around the machines and show you the details, what they look like and uh, what level of craftsmanship uh, you will find here. So this is the Leaper 926 Compact, a very nice machine, high level of detail. And uh, yeah, if you ask me, really looking good. Um, the cabin and all these things are made out of plastic. The rest is fully made out of metal. And uh, yeah, it's really pretty good, looking nice. Right here you see some cables. So uh, this is maybe a disadvantage. But when we go on, you see the level of detail, nice lines, the pipes, the hydraulic cylinders, everything looking very nice. By the way, you have a, quite a huge choice between different buckets. So right here you see a bucket that also is equipped with a Lico fix. So this is a really nice system. You will find it right here at the quick coupler. And you have a five teeth bucket looking very nice really cool a bucket with three teeth and one bucket with just a plate so let's move on to the volvo the volvo also you have a great choice of different types of buckets let's go on with the buckets so this is quite a big one with a blade. This is the three teeth bucket, also looking very nice. And there's a, a similar one to the Leaper. It's also with these hydraulic cylinders. Let's compare them. So this is the one from the Leaper. And there you see the, the difference in the size because they they both are just from different classes and the cool thing is that this is equipped as i already mentioned with the lico system so there's no need to manually connect these hoses so this are the these are the volvo buckets let's have a look at the excavator very high level of details see all these hoses it's also equipped with a quick coupler. Um, the cabin and all the things right here are all made out of plastic. But as you can see, very well made, really cool. From behind, great level of detail, just looking perfect if you ask me. Cool thing, by the way, the power on off switch is right here. It's the air filter. Oh, sorry. Looking really good. So, and the last one, last but not least. Last but not least, the Leaper 970. So it, at the moment, comes only with one single bucket. <laughs> but this bucket is one of the biggest things I have ever seen. You can see I can put my fist in there. It's really huge when we just compare it with the other buckets. As we did before, let's take the five teeth from the 926. You see that this is just a different size. It looks pretty nice. You can put it in there. So. 
So what you, at this early stage of the comparison, what you can easily see is that these machines are for different purposes. And uh, this is the cool thing, that they are really different right from the beginning. So here's also a quick coupler installed. This is the piston, this is getting in and out. And what you see here, if you haven't seen my first video of this review of the Leaper, you see a highly, a high level of detail. Really amazing. And uh, as I said last time, if you ask me, I have never seen something like this before. There's a window where you can see how much oil is in the hydraulic oil. And the level of detail is just, just amazing. And um, by the way, um, it's only the cabin that is made out of plastic. Everything else, all these things are made out of metal. This is really amazing. So this is the first quick view. So I think we should now put in the batteries and I will show you how this works. So now let's put in the battery. Um, it comes with a, with a Lion uh, battery, uh, a Lion Ion or a Lithium Ion in German, with the 3S, uh, 7 ampere hours and uh, yeah, it uh, has quite a huge capacity and it is very compact so it, that it fits into this machine. So how do you do it? Um, I guess I think that you can open this thing. By the way, this is a really nice made part. Look how the level of detail looks like. Really cool. Very nice. This is the loudspeaker. Two loudspeaker, by the way. So there is enough power for sound. This is the outrunner motor and the pump is underneath. And when you want to choose to change the, the battery, you have to do, is, do it this way. This is, as I said, made out of plastic at a very high level. Look how it looks. Really nice. Even there is a camera. It's not working, by the way, but it looks very nice. And uh, yeah, cool thing. You have to remove it. And then you have, oh, I will give you a better view because this is quite interesting. Look, this is the inside of this model. So many, many cables. Oh, look there. And this at the bottom right there, this is the sound system. It's, I guess it's a bio sound system. And uh, yeah, right here is the receiver. It's a Brixel. And what you see here is, this is the oil tank. And what you see here, is the right here are the vaults. Very interesting. You can also open this one. Also very well made. Look at this nice part. Really cool. And here you see, oh my gosh, this is really, this is German engineering. Look, look at the valves. So right here you see the servos. It says, for example, servo number seven for the bucket. And this is servo number six for the shield. And there are two blocks of valves. Really cool that all this stuff fits into this machine. So now comes the comes the day is the time to put in the battery. So this is very easy. Just put in the plug in the socket. See that the cables are okay. Like this. Maybe like this. No. I hope this is okay. Do it this way. And then you take this one and what you see here is that you have these noses and I think you have to put the noses at the bottom in there first and then you put it 
underneath like this, press a bit, and now it's perfectly closed. Nice, good. Then let's put back this thing. For sure, this is not necessary to <laughs> remove it when changing the battery. It was just I wanted to show you how it looks inside. I think magnets, nice. So let's put it in there. That's it. Fine. Looks good. Yeah, it's okay. And this comes back on top. Also magnets right here. That's it. So now the battery is in there. Let's move on to the Volvo. So this is the Volvo. It comes with a uh, um, 3S uh, LiPo battery, uh, 4000 milliampere hours. So it's a bit smaller compared to the Libra 926. And uh, to put in the battery, quite easy. You just open this door, then you look for the cable. Here it is. Take, put the plug in the socket, connect the LiPo saver like this. Put in the cable, put in the battery. My fault, did something wrong. Do it like this. Put it up, and now you can close the door. Okay, that's it. That was the Volvo. Let's move on to the Leaper 970. So this is the Leaper 970. This is the battery. Um, by the way, this is a really great dealer. So if you're looking for something, check out this website. They have a really good service. If you ask me the best service, you can get. So this is uh, also a lithium-ion uh, battery. Uh, the cool thing is that um, the capacity is 17.5 ampere hours. So this is almost more than double as big as compared to the Leaper 926, and it is almost is more than four times bigger than the battery in the Volvo. So where to put it in? You just open this door and right here is the battery compartment there's the on off switch there's a battery indicator if it's loaded and the cool thing is that you just by the way you have enough space in this machine so it's easier so you put in just push in the battery the battery then you connect the plug and the socket you put it in there like this now it's in there and shut the door again that's it so the next step we are uh, already in is now to turn on the machines one by one and turn on the radios the transmitter and to connect them and uh, after that we can uh, just go, go through, through some functions and compare them so, but first of all, let me tell you something about the radius you're currently seeing on the desk line. So this is this is the Brixler control. This is from a really good German manufacturer. It's very well known on the market. Um, it's there for many many years already. It's it's nice radio. Right? You have tons of uh, things you can do with it. You can program it and. Um, uh, right here, uh, it is connected, uh, well, will be connected with uh, the Leaper 926 Compact. This one is, is a quite heavy one. This is because the whole um, thing is uh, um, uh, drilled out of, a, of a aluminum, so this is really heavy. Um, but by the way, if you ask me, it's looking really nice and uh, very valuable. So this is a Scale-Out Commander, uh, SA5000 Expert version, uh, also made in Germany. It's a really good uh, radio, a really good transmitter. As the Brixel does, it has lots of things you can program with it. So there is, I think, almost nothing you can do with it. Really nice. And this is connected with 
the Volvo excavator. By the way, these two radios can be connected to several um, RC models. This is really cool. Just pushing a button and uh, then you can change between your models. The last one, but again, not the least one, last but not least, is the Flysky Palladian Lite. This is, um, with a huge distance, the cheapest uh, transmitter radio uh, in this comparison. Cool thing is that it comes with the model. So when you're buying the Libre 970 SME, you are getting this for free included, so that you really can just put in the battery and then you can have fun and you can work with it. And by the way, the first experience shows me that this is a really good radio. And um, just to give you a few more facts, um, uh, this one is around 2,300 euros in this version. This one is uh, over 3,000, I think 3,350 or something like this. Uh, so it's, it's the most expensive one. And the Palladian is around, I think, 250. So just think about it, 250, more than 3,000, and a bit more than 2,000. So this is really maybe an unfair comparison, um, but it's cool to have them lying here on the desk. So first of all, let's connect and start getting started the Leap here 926. Therefore, I will get you closer. So on the first step, what you're doing, you should always do is turn on the, the radio at the first uh, step. And this is done by this button. Now it's lighting blue. And now you're right in the, in, the, in the first menu. And you can choose which model you want to connect. So you do it right at this. Then you go through these things. And there is the 926. Just push this button. And now it's looking for the model. Let's get to the model. Right here is the on-off switch. Turn it on. Machine has started. So let's check if everything is fine. So um, just take the radio. Here you see that the model is a German model. It wouldn't mean that the model is connected. And uh, the pump is right here. Always let it run at a, at a very low speed. Yes, it's there. Good. So let's move on to the next model. So it's again, we just, on the first step, we turn on the radio. <laughs> cool sound. And uh, now you have to choose the model. So this is the EC40. 480, push the OK button. Now it's looking for it. I just pushed the on off switch. And now let's see, you see that the blue light is now not flashing anymore. And this means that it has been successfully connected. The pump is right here. Again, let it run at a very low speed. It's working. So let's move on to the last excavator. So again, the same. First step, turn on the radio. Like this. And you have to say transmit, yes, everything is fine. Okay, good, now it's flashing. So no connection at the moment. Let's turn on the machine. And what you see here is that the light is green and that this has been connected. So let's turn on the pump, it's going like here. Again, at a, as a very, at a very low speed. Well done. Now they are all connected. So now it's time for the, for the first impressions. But what I forgot is to show you um, what can be opened at the models. So 
what we have here is the Leaper 926. You can for sure open the door. This is every, all, everything, I'm sorry, this is something that really looks cool when you can open it and uh, yeah, you can see the driver sitting in, in his driver's seat and this is nice. The same can be done for sure. Let me get a bit closer. The Volvo door can also be opened. Look right here, the drivers might be twins, right? They are very similar. <laughs> Maybe it's because they are all from Bruder. So you can open it. What you also can open is are these, these doors right here. You see, you see the, the pump, the motor, the, the motor, the pump motor. And this is the cooler. What you already have seen is the door to the battery. And there's a the door at the bar, at the top. There you see the receiver, some cables. Okay, let's move on to the leaper. We are right here on this side. Now let's start with the other side. The door can be opened, and uh, yeah, there's a door handle. You cannot just uh, just pull it. The door open. You have to do this like this. You see right here. There is. A real working door handle and yes there is by the way um, there is also a display in the Volvo but it's only lightning there's no function on it and there is a display right here and it tells you I hope you can see it it tells you um, the RPM you know the pressure the pressure of the oil pressure and the temperature of the oil and the, uh, how much voltage you have. That's it. So then you have the battery compartment. Now it indicates that this is a fully loaded battery and the on-off switch. You also have something on the top. You can open it like this. There you see the servos and the fly sky receiver. And by the way, listen, there's coming no sound from the servos. And this is right here, this is different. This means that I have to check something. And when we compare it to the leap head, also coming some noise from the servos. I think I need to check it with the radio. So let's move on with the leaper. So you can open these ones. By the way, everything is out of metal. Everything is made out of metal. And this is one of the coolest things. For those who haven't seen my first video of the review, you can open these ones. And there's the oil cool cooler and the oil filter and the pump. And yeah, I think I can stop talking. This is just amazing. Really, really cool. So, that's it. Let's move on with some functionalities and um, with movement. So I hope that you have a good view on the Leaper 926. So this is, again, this is the radio. Um, I will try to do it this way so that you have a bit of a view on it. So first of all, let's turn on the pump. Low speed. Good. So, to, so what you see here is a really high precision. We can try to put a bucket at it. Therefore I get a bit, bit closer. So now the bucket is at the excavator, 
It has been fixed. Yeah, okay, good. And what you see here is a really high position of this machine because um, I hope that you get the, the right impression. You can control it very smoothly and the turning is, is not loud and the coolest thing is that it is so precise. Can you see it? I'm just pushing against it and the only thing you can see is that the boom is now shifting a bit but this is absolutely normal but there is no play in the gear see it's just the boom this is fixed and this is amazing so cool thing is what you don't need at the moment is the liquid system when you just uh, uh, put on the other bucket then you have the oil, the oil functions for sure this machine has, has lights at the top of the boom and at the cabin Yeah, and it has lots of power. It is it's really, really cool. It's very well um, well engineered. And what you also also have is you can have the shield at the back of the uh, at the back on the uh, of the excavator, and you can roll forward, go very slowly, very fast. Everything is not a problem at all. And um, by the way, there have been a fall harbor have been installed so this has power enough. So, so far, and ah, last thing, there's also an adjustable boom. As you can see, you can adjust it. So, that's the Leaper 926. Okay, turning off the pump. And let's move on to the Volvo. I hope that you can see the, the radio. So the pump is right here. Turn it on, low speed. Oh, we have to close the door. So, um, just listen, very quiet. Good movement. Also can be controlled very smooth. Let's try to get the, sh the bucket. Just do this. Let do this right here. You push this button, and now it's fixed. Turning is very quiet. And as you can see, enough power to work with. And you have also working lights. So at the boom and at the cabin and the flashing light for sure. So this is the Volvo. Let's move on to the last one. So this is the, this is the Leaper 970. Um, by the way, this is the, the lightest transmitter and it's, it's the smallest. Um, the display always turns off when you don't use it. When you want to see something, just push your button and then you can have all the functions. So let's turn on the, um, the pump. Also very quiet. can also be controlled, as you can see, very smoothly. The turning is not that quiet compared to the Volvo or to the Leaper 926. But the movement, the controllability is really, you can see it right here, is really cool. So let's put on 
the monster bucket. <laughs> Let's see if I'm able to. Therefore, I will give you a better position and I do my best. And this is all this, this is not, not that easy because you have to practice, to, have to practice it and due to Corona I have no time to practice anything. Then you just push this switch. Now it's closed. And the bucket has been well connected. By the way, you can also drive this machine for sure. Can do very slowly, go very slowly, also go very fast. And uh, yeah, there are also lights. Um, like this, at the, at the arm and at the cabin. And what I also want to show you is also ah, this. Um, yeah, this is the this is the standard version. So there is no LecoFix system installed, but this uh, can be um, uh, can be installed in the near future because they are working on it. And then this uh, actually also will have a LecoFix system. So what else I want to show you is comparing the play and turning it. Remember the Leaper 926, and this is what I mean, there is some play, as you can see. So the whole thing is turning, and this is really amazing when you, when you compare to the, the, the 926 is really the benchmark, if you ask me. So there is some, it's good, this is okay, this is not a really disadvantage, but it could be better. And I forgot to show you this with the Volvo. And by the way, there's also some sound. Let's start the engine. So this is the Leaper and now let's jump back to the Volvo because I totally missed to show you that this thing also has sound and can run, can be run, can, can be run. <laughs> so, okay, let's show you. And let's turn on the sound. And what I also forgot, I wanted to show you the play when in the steering, so I hope you can see it, pushing against it, you see there's also some play, it's okay, it's not perfect, and again, the benchmark concerning this is the 926. So, and last but not least, 
we forgot to show you, I forgot to show you the sound of the leaper. Therefore, let's turn on the pump and start the engine. Oh, my mistake, again. So um, it is really a good question and it is, I think, very difficult to be answered is which one is the best machine or which one is the better one. I guess it, uh, it's, it, it's up to you because you just have to compare them and I hope that it showed you the differences and uh, what they are good at and maybe one or two disadvantages. But uh, overall, I think the, the important message is from, from me is that these are different. This is a very small one. This is a middle class uh, concerning the, the weight and the, the size uh, excavator. And this is the biggest one. And it is up to you what you like. And I would like to know what you prefer. Do you prefer a small excavator? Do you prefer a huge one? This is a monster. Or do you prefer just something like the Volvo? By the way, what I didn't tell you until now are some specs. This machine weighs and let me get the specs so some specs the weight of this machine is 14 kilogram the weight of this one is 14.7 kilogram and the weight of this one is 32 kilogram so to put it in a nutshell this one weighs a double compared to these two excavators so you have, your, you have to have you know, in your mind when you're traveling with it, visiting friends, having some fun in the garden, this is quite heavy to transport. But, by the way, it's quite cool to work with it. So don't miss the upcoming action videos with the Leaper 970. Um, all these three excavators have hydraulic systems in there and they are working at a pressure, working pressure of around 25 bars. So this is 25 bars, this is something between 22 and 25 bars and I think I got it from the manufacturer page, this one has a, a pressure of 22 bars. The scale, 1 to 14, 1 to 14.5, 1 to 14.5. So they have the exact same scale, it's the scale up scale, the very well known German scale, 1 to 14.5. This is something around 1 to 14, so it's a bit bigger this scale. And the last question is, because you're always asking, what is the price of the machine and where can I get it? I will put the links in the description box below. And the price is, this one is coming, as you can see it right here on the table, with the radio included. So it is really an R2R excavator. In Germany, it costs 10,000 Euro, euros. This one is um, not an R2R. -R. You have to choose a radio. As I mentioned before, the Commander, for example, is a good one. The Brixel, or you can use the Flystyle, so it's up to you. But it's not an R2R, -R. just the model is around 13,000 euros as you can see it here right on the table with the extras on it. And this one, last but not least, the small compact, the 926, is also, as you can see it right here, with the LecoFix system and all the, the um, cool stuff on it, is also around 13,000 euros. So this is really a lot of money for big boys with their toys, and, uh, but they are almost almost at the same, same price level for sure this is the cheapest and they are a bit more expensive 
when you combine them with a, such an expensive radio, is even much more the difference. Then you can, in the end, it's around 15, 16,000 euros in this corner, and this is still 10,000. So it is um, more than the half more than for it you have to invest in these machines. So the last thing I want to want to listen. The last thing I wanted to show you. Some details show you how they move and I will turn them all on now. I will, will have the sound of all three excavators and please let me know what you like, what you prefer, what is your number one excavator. Maybe it's not the Libra 970, not the Volvo, not the 926, it's a different excavator. Put your comments in the box below please, I'm really interested in and maybe if there are some excavators that would like to be shown on my channel, I will try to get them for you. So, I hope you liked it. Give me comments please and thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Stay safe and now just some pictures of the models um, and uh, maybe don't turn on the volume too much because it's getting loud now. Bye bye.